Friday. Hi, my friend. How are you? Doing? I am well, thank you, sir. Yeah, so, so you you doing lives every morning too? No, 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 no. I come out to have my coffee and I see you in the corner there and I say hello to you fellas and I have my coffee and I head back inside. Right, right, right. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I ain't seen any videos from you a long time, but good to, good to connect with you again. No, no. I, with, with Sarah wrong, <laughs> we are only showing on his videos. Yes. Yeah, boy. Two YouTubers in one hole is problems. So no. <laughs> you tell me, <laughs> For me to make a video like that, what's that? For me to make a video, I just send him on vacation. <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, watch me now. If you make a video, he might suggest you put it on um, his channel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, what are you saying? Uh, Parampat, yeah, man, we get through here. Good to see you. Good night to you. And the, the Salif who always say that, um, bless up, brethren, bless his brethren. Yeah, yeah, my brethren. Yeah, man. Salif is a, they show up in all of our places. So a pleasant good night to everybody who locked on and the, the moderators and as Susie once said, the silent viewers in the background. Yeah, man, I get it cut last and I hide it from my wife because she was looking for it to use on me. Yeah, good night, Linda and Kim. Anna, yes, how you doing? Thank you very much for... Um, your your greetings. Very nice to see you here tonight, and thank you very much for tuning in and supporting the channels. Yeah, boy, Dad, by here with Lasana, by you look about a hundred years old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when, but I feel like two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm gonna have people looking old, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ryan, I, I do it a little um, training and I try and watch my eating a little bit. But I've I seen some um, some puffiness coming back here. He said as he accepted the funnions. <laughs> what did you do? Kim always eating some kind of fire version of regular snacks, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fire oh, version no. of regular snacks. Yes, no, man. No. We, who did we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went to you went to church today, You went to meet him? Who's that? Yeah, man. Sure, sure. Very good. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you carry the sun out with you? Yeah, he, he was busy <laughs> home planning something. <laughs> Sana. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel like a preacher, but you like meet him, you know? Huh? What is that? I said, you feel like a preacher, but you don't like meet him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he helped you cut the grass? Pretty new, but um, yeah, he did the other day. He did the other day. Imp <laughs> impressive man. Yes, yes, Ryan. Your brother, Ryan, 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 so Who's I don't know if they probably recovered from a heat stroke right now. We look at what? Gills. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. All right. So we have 54 people in the house. We have seven likes. Thank you, everybody, for coming and joining back the live. I hope people in trying to see if they could still watch our next live. That's what is happening. Eh? <laughs> yes. Oh, right, okay, so, okay, 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 okay. You know, I don't know if maybe we, we need oh, to you want can, to you can probably go in the background and play private until after this live. If you have a second device or something. Yeah, so, so get my second device and set that to private. Those those other videos? Yes. Yeah, that active right now. Yeah? Uh, before God, no one before God. Hey, I like that username, boy. Linda, I truly enjoy the I-95 driving video, especially since I live near I-95 in NYC, as well as the farm video. Oh, yes, Owen was very oh, impressive. Yes. Really amazing. I I surprised me. Oh, and I was talking yeah. to his parents who run the um the baking farms there and tell them that all they have a genius and all they have in terms of like starting to do YouTube-type content because they have this nice piece and they into... Um, what do they call it? What do they call it again, babe? Um, hydroponic farming. Yeah. Hydroponic, yeah. Hydroponic farming, and they do a lot of things year round. Well, now it's not kind of off season, 
But I was telling them, oh, when belong on YouTube, boy, because small man really well articulated as Trini, you'd say in the background. Boy, I hope you plan that seat because let me tell you something. I was lying by Natasha and Panda after we come back from my dog pot. Right. Oh. And let me tell you something. Boy, that video pop up and we watch it and listen to me so amazed by the knowledge that that little small man had, boy. Yes. He's very small. Yes. Yes. And I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if you noticed he was driving the tractor as well. And, yeah. Um, he, he he would have credited his grandpa with a lot of the right. you know the, the teachings that he had. So we went and um his grandpa is doing well. He's in a nursing home, but we went and right. visited him and the boy he's, he's real instrumental, real real nice man boy, and like he worked side by side with that little boy over the years. So right. Handy and there's a there's a video that I will do with that I'll post with him where he is doing on his chicken run, you know. I will right. Leave with him and he really he really enjoyed him. Yeah, really casty like a, a little tom so yeah. yeah. Yeah, boy, real, real, real good. That and and she's in all the attachments TV. on the um the tractor as well. Anyway, Sarah, <laughs> catch up on your chats here. All right. So yeah, pick up to Miguel Paula from the Bronx. Pick up to Wild Honey. All right. Yes, and Susie is agreeing that Owen is beyond brilliant. He's amazing. I agree with that boy. Yeah. I was so when I called you this morning that Ole was still there because I so wanted to talk to him, boy. Yeah, so I'm yeah, yeah. If you could link up our WhatsApp number for me, I will love, I love that little small man, boy. Right? I, I, I will, will do that. Up to DC Coben. All right, Cassie Ann is back in the house. Anna is back in the house. Susie is in the house. Well spoken, he, he is indeed. All right, and, and Ryan, Ryan saying that you look sleepy. Ryan yeah. saying that you look sleepy, sir. And that, that that's actually just he looked bad. He have when he tired all the sada. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and but Sarah is amazing, boy. Like all the life you're taking out of daddy face, like somehow when you looking younger. <laughs> hey, <laughs> boy, you, 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 you remember that so cool, um, Benjamin Button boy. Yes, Benjamin Button boy. Yes, boy. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the time I was looking like a real, real, real old man. And Sana. boy, hey, yeah. you know, the second way left here. I don't want to go left. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mom, yeah. you're saying if you look at hello, if you look at your old, your first video, and how you looking now is like, yeah, yeah. boy, for real, you know. <laughs> I was watching one today, and I say, way boy, Sarah, boy, you really wasn't looking too good at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was just you. Know, when you yes, man. Yourself a little bit more. Mm hmm. How how the gym going for you? The gym gone. Oh, the gym is going really good. The gym gone. The gym is <laughs> going really good. Yes. So let me send some shout outs here. All right. I see we have Martin Bash in the house. I don't know if he's related. Um, there's a Eric Bash. There's also me in the chat. All right. So Martin, nice to have you in the house here. All right. And we go in, Kevin. People, Mr. Sana came by me. He asked for tap water. I told him I can't I tap you. So you yeah. can't get tap water. I told him I want you to go stay purified. So I give him purified. <laughs> 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 Linda, you watched the video we did yesterday? Or oh, you ain't got to watch it yet? We went Wait, by tap water. No, 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 yes. no, no, not yet. If you, if you sc scroll through it, right? You go see this fella they call Kevin boy, real, real, real nice fella boy. So I give him one of your books, okay. right? I, all right. Okay, fellas, I gotta go. I gotta look as young as he does. I'm on. Yeah, yeah, boy, yes. yeah, boy. So good the night, to everybody. Between you, put your, between you and that fella, the better for you. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm up now. <laughs> He ain't even had to change his clothes in his pony pajamas. Show that one to change. He's <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's check up here. Hey, Dad. Good morning. Tell mommy if she's outside to check with. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So people are going to... You see her looking like a, a bun piece of toast? <laughs> yeah? You see her looking like a bun piece of toast? We yeah, boy. We spent the whole the day in the sun. Oh, my God. The sun real right over there. It's a wicked. Totally, wicked. man. Totally. Hey, let, me see what, <laughs> let, let me see what through that window looking like if it's still bright. It's real bright. Let me see if I can turn it. Flip camera. Flip camera. People imagine that now. 11 minutes past 8. 
And look at outside there. Well, boy, I would have loved that. I would have been it, vlogging outside it, whole, whole night. It had to yes. get children to sleep when the place yes. so bright, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you, should, you should definitely come up, man. It would be nice. We have a we have a pull out bed, you know. You welcome. You can go in the pull out bed. Yeah, boy. And here what now? I tell um, I tell Freddie. I say listen, if you want to learn the YouTube business, I can organize a a man and he send me up and he get a month training. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can teach you how to go about the blog, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes, man. So let me go. Let me go, people. All right. I see some new meat. Hmm. Now I'm just telling Shivana, hi and um. Right. Sorry, you go ahead. Yes. So I'm sending a big, big shout out to Buffy Am Ram. All right. Nice to have you here. Nice. And we go in, people. We go in. Lincoln Prophet. Yes. Good night to you. Nice to have you here. Enough respect. Yes. And we go in, people. Right. So Kevin said that the coconut man blacked. Send to say hello. Tell him. I ask for him. Yes. I still enjoy the coconut water. Right? Yes, Buffyan, because it's summer. And here is Shabana in the house. Good night to you. Good night to Ashman and the three little girls. Yes, Shabana, I keep mixing you up with her next girl. This coming named Shabani. All right? So <laughs> she ended up telling me, she said, hey, you're mixing up with Shabana. So people in the whole community get to know each other. All right? And that's so, so nice. All right? Nice. And we go in. Ryan says, I have to sneak by path. All right. I had to keep quiet. Though. This man, last week, hide a piece of cake in his pocket. Right? And coming and telling me that on the chat, that he hide the cake. And I go on and I say, boy, Ryan, you're hiding the cake. The bad wife ended up here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to be careful. I had to be careful. I, I, can't, I can't read his comments. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the vacation is going very nice and, and somebody said that um, a parrot started to talk when you left Lesara. Yeah? Kevin said that the parrot started to talk when you left. Well, boy, after you hear me talking so, so much, the parrot must talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, Linda, they have a parrot. The parrot is 43 years old, you know? Wow, serious. 43 years old and if you see how healthy and nice this parrot looking, boy, and his amazing. dad is looking amazing to his father. He's 80 years old. Oh, the, parrot? The, parrot father? the parrot father? The parrot father? No, not the parrot father. Kevin oh. father. <laughs> yes, yes. But the parrot, the parrot father must be 80 years too. You never could tell. Uh, right? Right. I'm and... Say, oh yes, Mr. Sana, your brother getting a taste of the Florida brutal heat. White chicken, yes, white boy. chicken. Uh, yeah, white, white chicken. Yeah, White Trini, this fella is known as White Chicken. They my brother. He's I a YouTuber, Linda. White Trini is yeah. a YouTuber. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I will, I will check it out. I saw the name already, and I wonder when I saw the name of the person is a YouTuber. Yes, yes. Yeah. And we have Trini Youth in the house, too. Trini Youth, give me a, a nice bless up just now. Give me a okay. super chat. Yes. All right, nice. Wow, big yes, up, man. Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. I did, Tara. I did. I did. He doesn't cut yes. the grass. And I see somebody new in the house here, Listra Mahadeo. Good night to you. Good night. Good night. Yes. So, people, <laughs> we might have missed some of the chat. Uh, pulling it back here a little bit while Linda, you could engage with them in the meanwhile. Sure. So, I have some. Um... So you're tired, he passed. White chicken will become brown chicken when he comes back. Yeah, man, I naturally brown, man. What have four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. I don't know. I don't know a long time one. White chicken, Linda Nellwell. Rat loves to call you that. Yeah, boy. Hey, Southwest Adventures. Neil, where you going, brother? Nice to see you. And once again, I really enjoyed that video where all they went on the troller, brother. They bring back real nice memories in that video. Mommy! Hello, darling. Mommy, Hello, what darling. you saying, girl? Good boy, look at you, you're looking like a Yankee. Oh man, I'm talking like a Yankee too, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mommy, wow. here is some. Uh, what do you call a bear with no teeth? Ah, uh, I, I, Anna gave me that one for my school teacher. Right, well, well, don't give the answer, don't give the answer. Let me see. Right. 
so many people go answer. And I know good little riddles, they know. Yes. So, mom, on a on a quick note, we went we went um we went to our team park recently now, and moving around there, I think back to to maybe thirty four years ago when you did this, and I see, wow, mommy, how you pull off that? I know the bulk of it is really you in terms of the planning, how you pull off this in with no internet, four children. <laughs> And I'm amazed, and, and I'm trying to kind of jog my memory as to different things that you were doing in the background there. And, and hats, hats off to you and Daddy Gil. You give us a real nice childhood. And, yeah, boy. And give us real good things to experience. And I yeah, can now appreciate more the, the stress that would have gone with it. So thank you very much. I was really, you were really on my mind heavily recently when I did that. And say, wow, boy, mommy, you, you, you do well. Thank you, thank you. With daddy's good support. Well, yes, yes, yes. Not not to discount the effort that daddy put in there, but I, I know you the I know you the manager and the planner and put this in place. And daddy could be like daddy could be like Louise, I think this is too much of stress, you know. We better cancel this whole thing and forget all about it, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's kind of like similar to Kim and I, you know, Kim in the background there, and I like, nah, don't worry about it, now. the passport in order, everything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sorry, I, I know you're probably losing track of your chat there, Sarah, but it's mommy, I just wanted to credit you with that, you know? Yeah, well, there's a quick shout out to my boy, uh, DJ Sheldon and Cindy Love, all right, um, Richard Dwarica, all right, early on in the chat, I saw, um, oh gosh, Richard. All right, yes. And Lystra, last time I talked to the girls, they were doing okay. All right, nice. And we're going, we're going. Southwest Adventures, welcome to the chat. Right, so people don't forget to check out um, Southwest Adventures. They're my cousin Neil. All right, cover they do. One, one of my favorite videos on YouTube is the, the two videos you all have in terms of visiting the trollers. Yeah, boy, that was awesome, boy. Yeah, it's, it's amazing when you're a viewer and, and you see something, you know, recently I met some some subscribers, people that we don't know, you know, different subscribers reached out and say, you know, we see you in the area and this time did not allow us to, to kind of connect with as many people as we would like, right? But there was there was once uh, some sisters that years ago lived in Trinidad, born and grew up in Trinidad. And they reached out, and when I checked out the location on the map, and then we chatted, we realized that we're pretty close to each other. So we're like, right. yeah, right, cool, we will, we'll do dinner. And when we reach and chat with them about them being separated from Trinidad for so many years, but through the work that different YouTubers do in Trinidad, and being able to connect with whom. And right. each, just like I am able to connect with that troller video, you know, because of my children yeah. with any carcass. Yeah. And they're able to say, boy, you know, we seen maybe Tuna Puna and we have never been to Cora or we remember when the yeah. went to, you know, it's, so it really yeah. is, it helps you appreciate the work that you do. And the, the different idea might seem lame to you when you do it, like as a content creator, but then the yeah. impact it has on somebody in some way. So I... Because of my childhood in the campus, I appreciate yeah. that troller video, you know, as a Yeah, girl. boy. Let me tell you something. Right? Just like you, my favorite, favorite video of all times is the one on your channel. Right? So, right. Right. Your yeah, channel, listen, what I really like about it in particular is the day started off so bright and sunny. Right? And the job that he went to do, it really didn't take him long, right? 45 minutes is the maximum time that we would have spent outside there. Right. And it, how the weather changed drastically. Yes. You know, so, so we had some nice elements, you know, sunshine in one minute, then it get overcast, and then it's rain. And being on the trawler itself, you know, getting a little footage of the, the bridge, and I went up on the bow of the ship, Boy, let me tell you something. That video is boss, yeah. boss, boss. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. That was real, real boss, Because, boy. because it, it, it close to your heart, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So I, I may have been years ago, I may have been about seven years old if so much. Mm. When a similar scenario where some rope got tangled in a trawler's propeller. And yeah. The boom and they went out and I clear as day I could remember them returning to go buy Jap shop in the carcass and they buy some like it, I think it was Venezuela a Venezuelan trawler. Or at right. least that Venezuelans on board, I should say. And they, they, they went and they get some cherry brandy, like the men sent for cherry brandy. And I re remember those bottles, mommy, that they used to sell. I don't know, they probably still sell it. It was like about eight or eleven dollars with. Yeah, that is and, the cast wine. And I remember going back out to see, and I get a little whether they were open it and they were passing it around on the P rock, and I get a little cup full of that. And it is good. I could, I could still no, I could still remember. I mean, I could still remember the sensation of tasting it out on the open water, you're cold. And then we, when we went on the trawler, they served us something like a, a hot chocolate pudding. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so to see you in that video go all the way back, it, it takes yeah, me yeah, back yeah, to that yeah. moment. It tickles your memory. Yeah, man. Dolly, yes. good night to you. Uh, Ryan says every time he comes on this chat, he just feels hungry. Yeah, yeah, boy, and, and Susie says she, she loved the video with Owen. So I'm yeah, really boy, happy that I, I had the opportunity to record it. I really love that video. I could take in that again tonight in God's Fair Life. Yeah. Lyndon, when you all went on that vessel last year in Lasana, you, you all remember getting something they called Papillon? Papillon? What's Papillon? It, it, it was like chunks of um, cane juice and it got hardened like a, like a, like a fudge. Papillon. Oh, no, no. no. I, I do remember having that, but I remember tasting that when I was in Venezuela. And that thing is super sweet. Yeah, I drink, very I drink sweet. a soft drink I after that. I think it's more natural. So, I mean, that is add to, to tea or something or what? No, you eat it as like a little like sugar cake. Like a, oh, like oh, a sugar oh. cake. Some of the things sweet. I, yeah. I was drinking, coincidentally, I was drinking a soft drink and that at the same time, eating that at the same time, right? So I bring right. into the snack and then I drink the soft drink. And brother, it tastes like sweet. water. The soft drink right. tastes like yeah, water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, so that is real concentrated, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Juice. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, I know. Hey, pick up Eric Bash in the house. Eric Bash, good night, good night. You beat from oh, just the now see a man called Martin Bash, because I was wondering if fully related. I know, yes. I know the name Martin Bash. Anup say he, um, everyone have a good night. He tired from having a, a long day today. Anup, pleasant good night to you and uh, Kavita. Jen, special greetings and good night. Yeah. Yeah, you hear what Susie says? She's she seen that in a couple of years to come. Right? She, she, she is predicting that he will be just like um, Owen. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was looking at something, right? When when you gave him the camera, I said, let me see how this small man will handle this camera. And if you notice, his movements was very slow, eh? Mm -hmm. Very slow. Which means to say, and that gives me an indication as to how he's becoming so knowledgeable, right? He is a boy. He takes in details. Yeah. You know, and that is the okay, Eric. Right, and that is one of the biggest ways to to grow your memory bank. You know, by taking in details. I, I, I was taking in real good, real good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, boy. Very true. Kevin, I saw your comment with regards to the limes, and I'll, I'll organize with um Mr. Ari. If you could just probably message me on on WhatsApp, mm. so I'll have a record of it. Yeah, fantastic. Um. Fantastic child to, to work with, boy. Fantastic. Yes, and I want to send a big, big shout out to Corinne. All right? Corinne and your yeah. Dendril's wife. Okay. Okay. Yes. Hi, Corinne. How are you doing? Yes, yes. I remember Corinne, man. Yes. Presently, yes. Presently, yes. Yes. Good yes. night, yeah. yeah, so big up to Lovey Dovey in the house. Nice to have you here. All right, and I've seen somebody here I never see for the first time I've seen them, right? This is Franca. Capron's second name. So good night, Franca. Welcome to the chat. Hey, just asking where is Ellis and the kids? Really want a video from her. 
and McGill, Franca, everybody, this is the question that they're asking. Unfortunately, I really, really don't know. All right, so Ellis, if you happen to be listening to this live, it have plenty of people asking, you know, when you're dropping something next. All right? Nice. And we go in, people. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and here is Larry Dipchan. All right, good night. Welcome to the chat. First time I've seen you here. All right, nice. And we go in, we go in, people. Absolutely. And here is Guy Tree Sammy. Love listening to your mom chatting. So, mommy, get him a chat there. Yeah, get him a chat. Get him a chat. Get him a laugh. So and mommy, get him a mommy, where is give on this um, where is give on this channel? Travel, um, marriage advice. What's what you said? What you just give on the channel? Um, marriage, marriage advice? advice. Marriage advice. Okay. What? Well, well, I mean, if looks and ask you in the chat, what you what what's your thoughts on and and bearing in mind? No, listen, people... wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just out, that's out, that's out. Let me get out with a caution, right? Let me get out with a caution. Uh -huh. Please be careful the topic that we're not going to be to discuss, right? Yeah, man, no, no. Right. I, I'm fairly and, sensible and, enough. I might be looking, but I'm fairly sensible enough. If you're real, she ain't real, she ain't eh? <laughs> <laughs> Moderators, please be on the lookout, all right? Please be on the lookout, moderators, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Re remember, remember, remember that the spoken word, the spoken word cannot be retracted. We are alive, right? Yes, man. Yes, yes. Yes, man. So let yeah, me you, have a sense, you have a sensible mother. You know, I just don't know how you come out, so you have a sensible mother. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, yes. So let me go. Yeah. Um, so, mommy. Yeah. Like if if you were to re rewind way back to I guess it would be like 1988 on what there, like Canada vacation and, and what vacation means to, to how how were you able to pull off some of them vacations in uh before the internet? I, I mean like I just think about the convenience of today. I didn't need to call American or Caribbean Airlines. I just tried to save up my money and get some frequent flyer miles, maybe. And I go online and I do everything. Yes. So, but even even your desire to, to travel way back then, you know, I, you know asking, I just asking about vacation and, and why vacations were important to you and how you went about planning it before the internet that we have today. Yes. Well, actually, <clears throat> before 19... Before 1987, our first family trip was in 1987. You were four years old. Wow. And Lasana was 11. Mm -hmm. He was right? handsome, I remember. Yes. <laughs> now, prior prior to that, to, to that big family trip, we will go to small islands, Barbados, St. Vincent, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, small, small island trips. But I always wanted to do a nice family trip with the family. Well, Lancy will normally be the one. His work will start in the airport when you have to make all these six forms. <laughs> and then from you know a long, I long form, I would two, three pages. <laughs> and it's six of us. Eh? Wow. It's <clears throat> so it's six of us. So Paul Lancy work starts in the airport. But prior to that, I will be doing all of the planning, thank you, Larry. planning and organizing. So, but that first trip, really, working in NP, one of my bosses had gone on a fam on a trip with his daughter. That's the guy who, oh, Lasana, he had made an aquarium for Lasana. And um, he, when he came back, he showed me pictures and he stayed at um, Colonial Motor Lodge on Highway 192 and Alamo <laughs> rentals and things like that. So, so I, at least I had a good jumping board by his with his advice. So all I did was I wrote letters to, to and made bookings, you know, because I don't even know in those days if you had telephone to make foreign calls, yes. you know. And um, so the money part of it, that, that was always a concern. Going on a trip with a family of six. At that time, Lyndon, 
surprisingly to think. Like now, to go in any one of those parks is like 100 US, would you say? More. Yeah. The World and Epcot Center. Hi, Alison, good night. Mm -hmm. Right? So, but in 1987, which is 20, what, 46 years ago, huh? no, 36 years ago, to go on a three day pass to Disney World and Epcot Center was $18. $18 a day for a three day pass. 50, a three day pass, you got it at $54. $18 a day. The wow. three day pass was $54. Whereas if you had gone on a one day pass, it was maybe $25. So you know your mother was always good with maths. You say $25. And, and you could find that deal, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be saving something, otherwise we'd go, eh? <laughs> So, so, and that's how you know that we start. We had that nice family trip together, rented a nice seven seater from Alamo. You know, so of course now you say, well, in those days. How that money to make that big trip because that trip would of course in those days like for family of six like twenty five thousand dollars. Wow! But I always felt that you don't wait to save money to go on a vacation. You have places like the Credit Union you could borrow money. Okay. And things like that, you know. So because if you wait to save money, you you gonna take you five years to go on that trip. Yeah. So, so just. I always say money spent on vacation was good money spent. You don't yes. ever, after you make a trip, when you come up and you say, oh my gosh, this trip costs $60,000. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. You think of the memories that was chalked up with you, you and your children and your wife, the good time you had, money well spent. Yes. I Again. I spent. You don't think about after afterwards sixty thousand dollars. Why could I buy a new car? So, so you, <laughs> you, so you watch it before and you don't watch it again because when you see the when you see it going down, they just get sick. So just don't watch it again. <laughs> so mommy, so mommy, after the trip, hi hi Shanta, you asked for Kim so I in the camera. She came and was sitting nearby. Yeah, she has a, a lovely golden brown complexion. Brown. Yes, man. Nice and tan, and you're yeah, all well, you 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 good. I come to it. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, yes, Linda, yeah. yes, what's your yeah. question? Yeah. yeah. The, um, so, like, when we went on those trips in the background afterwards, you'd be paying back the credit union for it. Right, and I only waited to finish the one the next one. Wait, wait. <laughs> you know, I finish my credit union, you know. Hey, no, listen, man, I, I really appreciate it, but I'm sorry, you know, when I get a job, I think I'll never give you money. <laughs> but I really, I really appreciate it, Carrie, you know, sort of those man. trips. You can still give me money, yeah. money, I might give you know, money. That, that time passed, that time passed. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. And then we went there. back, so that was in 87, and then we went back in 1992. So that's like five years later. <laughs> And that time now, when we rented a car, yes. we drove, after we did our parks and so, we drove, we went to South Carolina, North Carolina, oh, yeah, um, Virginia, and yeah, know, that was fun and that. <laughs> Go ahead. Boy, and yeah, I'm going to give all this, I'm going to give all this some good jokes tonight, all them belly go hot. One pop all your corn, all right? Because we're going until we reach 400 people here tonight, all right? Guys, so let me just do a little shout out here, Lindan. Bam, 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 yeah. bam. All right. I will take it from 827, all right? So we are Shanta and Tony the house. Good night, good night. All right. Um, Alice Mohammed, good night, good night to you. Ramdat, good night. All right, people, we have 183 people in the house. 24 likes, keep smashing that. Like, I forget how to do yeah. it. Nice, are we going? All right, nice. Okay. And, oh, yes, yes. That is one intelligent boy. Good night to my girl, Lydia Passad. Yes, I'm so sorry, Lydia, when you was calling me, I was in the middle of exporting oh, the cool fish video. All right, so big up to my girl, Lydia. Right, I'm a big sister, you know. 
nice. And we go in, we go in. Quick question, Linda. Ah, uh, the kids. <laughs> oh, what? I had so a lot of asking, <laughs> right? If the kids that you met on the farm are right. home <laughs> school. Yeah. Yeah, they they homeschool, yeah. I don't know how she was able to figure that out, but good observation, Lydia. Yeah. And, right. and they they spend a lot of time reading. reading. Yeah. Nice. And they they, they do a, a they do a really good job controlling like the screen time with iPad. The little they they both right. big yes. readers. The little boy rolling to Tintin. He, he nice, nice. Yeah, and, and oh gosh, my, my poor children with the iPad, they're corrupting them. Yeah, he starts oh gosh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I want to say a special good night. First time I see this person in here, right? So, welcome, Randy Sudama. All right, and we go in, Betty. No, I see my time. Look at that. Wait, look at that. I'm there. Uh, sending a big, big shout out to really? my girl, Betty Abdu. Really? All right, I hope you're feeling much, much better. All right, yes, and tell Pops that I asked for him. All right, we met some review or some people yesterday. Kirsi is in the house. Good night, good evening, good evening to you. All right, nice. So, we we went to with Owen and his family, we went to a restaurant called Wicked Bao, an Asian street food restaurant. So yes. I, I, post, I posted, I scheduled it to post for 8 o'clock tonight. And it turns out that the woman who owns the restaurant, she won yeah. Business Woman of okay. the Year Award in okay. Florida. Nice! And I had the opportunity when I was there, he, ex um, Freddie, Owen's dad, explained to her what I do with the YouTube. And she's like, right. yeah, come, come take a tour of my kitchen. Nice, <laughs> nice. So you yeah. so have some kitchen action for me. Huh? Yeah, some kitchen action to show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was interesting. Nice. The restaurant, but, you know. Right. What's the, name of, what's the name of the restaurant? Wicked Bow. Wicked Big it up, man. Big it up, big it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see the um, video. It was, it All was right, exceptional nice. food. The food was really good. Right. Yeah. I've seen somebody new in the house here. All right. So big up to Shondell. Happy Sunday. Guyana in the house. Love your show. Keep up. Be sweet, enjoy your weekend. And Kim, you know what song I'm going to sing, right? You know what song I'm singing. All right? What, what? Guyana. Yes. <laughs> Guyana well, is what Babu. You're singing with me. Three, four. I come from the country. They call Guyana. The land on the box. I see my sunshine. I come from the country. They call Guyana. The land on the box. I see my sunshine. My poor parents. We can go back to We got to go back to Guyana some more. I see the park up in the Palenco. We got to go back to Guyana some more. Hey, oh, Guyana. <laughs> oh, my God. I am the very best of the guy and his babu. Pick up yourself, Rondell. Right? Tell you four of them. Guy and Abu, I want to get big like ERB. Yeah? Like me, what do you Yeah, 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 yeah. this. Yeah? Lulu, what do you want to say? Life can be better than this. Life can be better than this. Yes. So pick up yourself, Lord Del. Hear what Lynn say. Hello, everyone. I was in the kitchen frying fish and fries. I'm here. Yes. Eat up and up. I'm not pop right now. I eat it. <laughs> so pick up yourself, Lynn. If you have no more fish there, boy. Let me go and fry some fish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mommy, how 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 is um having Lasana wrong now affecting your groceries? What's that? How, how is having Lasana wrong, wrong, wrong affecting your groceries? <laughs> hey, I just going to shop and buy things, boy. Tell me what you're telling yourself, <laughs> right? Hey, you can spend money on a vacation and nobody be covered right? by me a little empty, yeah? What's <laughs> it? Every time I have to cook something, I'm going to go in the shop, you know? I'm going to go in the grocery store. Mommy, 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 you had to go credit union for groceries, yes? <laughs> <laughs> no, boy, the credit union is for holidays. That's <laughs> <laughs> too much interest. <laughs> boy, here's baby. I, you know, I, don't know, I don't know. 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 I don't know
right? All right, so big up to Anne Rodriguez, all right, and Sonita says that she's from Guyana, living in America. Love you guys. So to all the Guyanese people living in America, Canada, big up all yourself, big up Sandy's uh, backyard kitchen, yes, big up to the Mickey family, yes, and we go in, and Susie says it's Mr. Sarafis, and here is Destiny Romeo in the house, nice to have you here, Destiny, all right, and we go in, oh gosh, hey, 196 people in the house, all right, so pop your favorite drink, and let's get our toes going for when we hit that 200, all right, <laughs> now, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go in, we go in. Yes, the monkey glance race. Linda was able to look at the video. I enjoyed it. All right, so people, um, Linda, and people really love that video with that small man, but he is the boss. All right, if anybody asks you who is making noise, tell them your dad have a parrot. Yes, and we go in. Deborah in the house. Yes, nice. <laughs> Deborah, when you're coming to drink that, yes, it's toy chapter. Yeah. Yeah, oh God, what right on in here. <laughs> hey, and here is Charlene Ali. Big up to the Buttis family. Love you guys. Right from Rev Tech. Nine going to more than one time, though. Nice. <laughs> and we go in, we go in. Kimberly, I see, you're I see coming. That yeah, one line, boy. And here is Poppy. Boy, I can't talk to you. I don't worry. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> and look. Sorry, I said the Mickey family, but it's really the Mickey family. All right? Yes. So we have the Mickey family in the house. Big YouTubers in the house, people. Nice. And we go in. We go in. Oh, gosh. I go in. Eh? You go on. <laughs> all right. And... You go in and I go on. Yeah. All right. So... Okay, Linda and Kim. Nice seeing you all. You all look beautiful. Nice and tan. You'll think you all went to the islands. Yes. And... <laughs> yeah. The oh, Typhoon oh, Island. Oh, <laughs> yes. And and thank you for being such a support to, to the channel tonight. Yes, yes. All thank right, so then good. Good night, but it's time for me to take my duty nap. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 right? Yes, yeah. nice. oh, I'm not going to ask her if she gets the ones I sent for. <laughs> the airplugs. Oh, <laughs> Look, I want to know if I'm going to go straight into the morning live one time tonight. Who knows? <laughs> Yes, Je Jennifer say, Whoa, yes. give thanks and praise. You have your mommy yes. and daddy around. Enjoy a good laugh. Nice. All right, mommy, good night. Pleasant night. Love you. Okay, darling. Nice. Love you all. Bye. And I'll see the next new person in the house. Shala Maraj. Good night. Good night. Darish. Life going till morning one time. Hey, I like this person name. First time I seen you here, Alu Choka. Yes, good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Well, let's give a little hand here, boy. We reach by Vishnu. Good night to Vishnu. You basically just calling the names um of the new people for the while. Let me catch up with the chat. What what time right. you reach? Let, what time reach? Let me get your, let me get your voice a little rest there. All right. So take it from eight forty. Jennifer Jennings, who is another new person. Yes. Eight forty. Eight forty. Hold on, boy. Wait, boy. Sala, boy. You have a comments to respond to here, boy. Lou, I love how you treat my boy, Mr. Sana. That's from Deborah. Hi, Deborah. How are you doing with water and washing of his she hands? Brought, she brought some Mother's a mug, love. A mug and a basin to wash his hands. Who for Sana? Yeah, Aww. after he eats. <laughs> that is nice. She went from your mother, man. All right. So, Jennifer, yeah, reach Jennifer. Beautiful yeah. and amazing mom. God bless. That's from the Nikki family. Good night. Take care, moms. That's from Kevin. Amy says, Mommy, good night. Same thing from Anna. While Honey is laughing. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good night, Miss Louise of Susie. Uh, welcome. Oh, I thought that person <laughs> is <laughs> WN. <laughs> <laughs> so, good night, Amy. Good night, Hannah. For South Trinidad and the house from Brian Rogers. Welcome. My wife put me out. She said, I like Sana more. Ryan. Yes, yeah, Sana was not a lot of household problems right now. Uh, <laughs> night, night, Mama Lou. Have a blessed night. That's from Tara. Brian, good night to you. And Jen is responding to Brian. Julie said I had a problem with the chat. It was showing chat replay. Big up, Miss Susie, in the shop by me. That's from Lovey Dovey. So big up to that, Miss Susie, not Miss Susie, the moderator. Mr. Sana, catch up on your chat. Otherwise, you will be mustard or mayonnaise. That is from Kevin, who has a lot of great jokes. He could enter Mustana Bahar with them kind of jokes. Yeah. Ryan Rogers says, <laughs> Rogers family, love tone. Big up to the Rogers family. 
Uh, Judy uh, Sigobin, hi, good night. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, Judy. Same thing to you and your family. All right, folks, that is it for tonight's edition of Pick Up On. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Yes, man. Yeah. And lovey dovey in the house still, Nikki family, Ram that. All right, so mommy going to sleep, people. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, we have 202 people in the house. Thank you so much, people. Yes. You so see us coming the... under the cong drop, you know? I'm telling you. You thought this you did, you thought this you did ever? Boy, all them old, fella, uh, all them old fellas go to sleep. Please come off the show. Then. <laughs> old boy, can them go off the show, yes? Yes. Uh... Yeah, boy. Yeah, man. I'm missing all them, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We miss you too, man. We miss yeah. you. Yeah. It's just peace, you know. It's just peace. <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, what is the Hindustani word for cat? <laughs> Burr. <laughs> Not that one. I remember, yeah, yeah. The man said, no, no, the four foot one we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tara. Oh, God. And Shivani Dioraj. Good night, lovely people. A special good night to you, Shivani. I see Amy saying Anu battled, Anu went and sleep. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Oh, you keep coming up the screen. I tell you, that's what you did. No, no, I didn't know. Yeah. Hey, look, we boy Sean Mahaber in the arm house, boy. Remember Sean Mahaber? The name sounded familiar. Yeah, that is the fella. He and his brother stopped and they came up in the gallery and um, took the picture. Oh, yes, yes, yes. With Miss Diane. The good looking fella with the. With the hat on yeah, the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them was good looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So we are showing the house. Right. And you're always forgetting the man's wife's name, boy. Dian. 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 Yes. What, what was the mistake I was making? Him? Debbie? No. Not no. Debbie. But something he said, he started calling. He, he, he was calling night for kicks. Yes, yeah, Sean, man. I hope you're doing well, brother. I said it's in a video, too. Yeah, <laughs> Debbie. Yes, and while Honey's here, we're in she favorite color. Blue. <laughs> yes, Tana, what's your favorite color? Boy, my favorite color is pink. Pink, yeah. I want to get a pink juicy. I suspected so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. No, um of late I really love orange juices now. Okay. Yeah, yeah orange, orange juice you were going and it looked good on you. Thank yeah. you very much, Deborah and Judy. This old lady's still up watching. Louise and I are the same age. Yeah, yes. yeah. Nice, nice age. It's fantastic to have parents around. Who we met the other day and the parents up and then they were talking about the parents, but the oh, person gosh, is like yeah. an elderly person. Like, and, wait, the, and their grandparents. Um, oh, um, oh gosh. Yeah, but but like somebody up in the, the fifties or sixties or something, you know, the parents still are wrong. I said that means that, but yeah, <coughs> yeah boy. It was, it was Heather's parents. Yeah. Hmm. And yes, Jen is picking some... up the moderators. Thank yeah. you, Jen. And yeah. somebody <laughs> seen Buffy and is saying that yellow will look nice on me, so I'll get myself. Yes, yes. I remember when you entered my Harry for the flood? I was wearing a yellow jersey. Yes, the yellow looked nice. Okay. Justin. Um. Gosh, I've, this chat moving so fast, boy. It is. Right, Buffy Ann. Yes, thank you so much. Right, so I'll get myself a yellow T-shirt. And all Jen right. is up all the YouTubers in the house. Moderators look out. Yes, they eat like too see. fast. They eat pineapple. <laughs> what oh, happened is, I, I, I know Mr. Lasana would be following up with comments as he go along. How, wrong how, much, how many minutes you say you were behind when I had leave the comments with the, the time on it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, we left a comment like about like 7 Like oh, coconut water. Somebody is never drunk. <laughs> yeah. Susie, yeah, man, Susie. Drink as much as I want. Yeah, what mommy drink in the bag there? Coconut that water. I in, but I buy some coconut water, so she drink it some. Linda is not Diane, Diane boy, is Denise. Denise. So you're still going to mix up the, the woman name? Wait, wait, wait. Her name is Denise? 
Yes, that is no. That is the woman that sent me snacks. Yes, Denise. <laughs> It's not Dion. It's not Dion. It's Denise. I, I know when you see oh, me. I, I was wrong. saying Dion. You were saying Dion, yeah, but I, it's I feel, Denise. I feel you mixing it up, so show the love to verify. But look, the man put it there. Where he look, said, so my mother, Denise. Yeah, you sure he ain't changing your body? No, the, the, nah, Denise he ain't changing your body. Denise is I think name. he is reminding Denise. us of the mistake that Denise we is made. Denise is the mistake. Dion is the real name. Oh God! Sean, give me some left, she, left, she left comments um, under Dian Mahaber. Yeah, Dian Mahaber, yeah. and I was saying Denise. Yeah? He was saying Denise. And for fun, he was saying. <laughs> Come Denise. and see Linda now. Come and see Linda. So they just say, "Don't wear yellow before elections." Yeah, it's running into problems because I'm a teeth. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they say, they, they say Linda, how are you? Um, are you on Simana in the mouth? <laughs> 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 oh gosh! Hey. <laughs> yes, yes. Ria, I uh, let you know what going on with Alaskil. I'm sorry, I can't give you no information about that. Eh? So sorry. Oh, elections coming up this year? Oh, yeah, lo they have local elections. Local, local elections. Yeah, that's oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I want to big up Trinity. Eh? I want to big up the whole whole of Trinity. Yes, nice. Coral Springs. Hey, yeah, Sheldon's still in the house. Hey, Sheldon, we cook something out of Coral Springs, Florida. I cook in every day. <laughs> so get good money. When, when you, you make me cook all the day for sure. Look at Lyndon. Look at Lyndon. Coral Springs. That's not... Come on, sit down here. There are too many springs after check. Green would look very nice on me. What do you say about me? My green outfit, Chandel. Um... Yeah. Yeah. My name is Dian. Yes. Yeah. My name is Dian. But you say Denise. Yeah, I yes. remember that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it seems All to be right. put into my memory now. Oh man. Oh, How are you? Yes, yes. Hello. Oh man. Yeah, so... <laughs> so... I got a son. All right. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I sent some I pictures to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, look at how cool you are. I see so much pictures from you Yes, yes, oh, man, very nice. I'm glad you got Yeah, yeah. Yes, man, yeah, Miss Oman, oh, man, Miss Oman. Oh, Sarah, see you get bloated. Some comments people yeah. say that Auntie Oman, oh, Miss Oman. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 Haley and them? Haley, two minute warning to go and bed, right? Annie, you want to Anna, sleep? Anna, look at her, fall asleep. I, I will, what I will do, I mean, Sana, you can tell her I will go and you call with her. You see, what they will do is afterwards, they will have. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, tell, tell her like tomorrow morning, yeah. go to them. Yeah, man. Yeah, she ran in the house. Let Annie yeah. come to say hello. You mean everybody saying good night to you? Susie saying good night. Who is that? Right? Uh -huh. Well, there's different people that is being in the chat here, right? Uh -huh. And Jen uh -huh. saying good to you because everybody uh -huh. is behind you. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Look who, that. who is that? Say hi. Uh -huh. That's Irwin. Irwin. Very good. Uh -huh. Anna Bun, but she going still. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The whole day she walking around. She, she walking around with the coffee and sleepy, She's sleepy. Like, <laughs> after meeting, can, can we take a nap? <laughs> uh, Vienna, Monday. Alice yeah. Bernadette says, hi, everyone. Hi, Lasana, Linda, and Kim just got up to get a drink of water and decided to greet you all from Vienna to 49 Monday morning, going back That's to sleep. Nah, Thanks very much, Alice, mm -hmm. and have a pleasant night. Good night to Kevin again. Anupa, I thought you went down sleep, brother. Daddy. Yeah. So I think I when you have election, Buffy and you're not supposed to wear mm -hmm. the, the colors associated with the political parties. Yeah. Because so, so uh, men, I'm not, I may be not something I already know. I'm not sure. It's yeah. Okay, my dress. <laughs> you know, I lock up now. You went to the car. Yeah. Trin big up Bushman, boy. Hey, did we? Did we? Um, yeah, 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 man. Bush, Bushman, Kim said I shout out for you in a recent video there. I decided I look like I'm going in there. Yeah. Who look like I'm going in there? 
What you doing? Your wife willing your wife willing to stay on <laughs> Uh, no. uh yeah, just hanging out here with Lasana and uh, drinking some orange juice with Kimberly and waiting for the children to go and sleep. She ain't married, Sana? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. But she just happy to see, she just happy to see all you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Well you know she hear me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, oh, a, a hearing test Thursday. Okay, very nice, sir, man. So you're by, you're by mommy and them until then? What you say? If you'll be here until Tuesday. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Uh -huh. Lasana giving you trouble? Right. After it's for nine. He asks, you know, if I giving you trouble. Plenty of trouble when we were small. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Plenty of trouble and yell and then drag it all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> right, so then just. Right, like, like you like snacks, boy. Like I like welcome, snacks. Welcome to Trinbigo. Um, welcome Auto to Toby, Bushman. right? The outdoor Bushman. Nice to have you in the house. Nice to see you. Uh, chatting with your subscribers. Thanks for that, brother. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, Stana, you, you, you see, we, we live in this life when, um, yeah, when you reach 400 viewers. Yeah, Corinne, please tell them drill hello. I saw that message just now. Oh, no. So, where, where are you all are now? We are in Orlando. <laughs> my Freddy? Nah, they leave from my No, we, leave, we left from my home. Yeah? They leave from my friend here already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you will you will get some videos very soon. I borrowed that van to go down. What's your time you ready? One thing I need to go settle. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be holding the right up here. More cookie? More cookie? Yes, no. yes, John. We're hoping that we can pass through there. PM. No. Oh gosh, poor Ryan, but I'm feeling sorry for this man. He was snacks. That one had a hide and eat snacks. I want cookie. Come in, let's get cookie. Should I cook that water? I'm going to find it. It's kind of sour. Oh, but it must. It must. It's kind of too yassy. Abai, abai, yes, we go. Yeah, well, it's time for bed. No, here it is. All right. It's time to come up here. Right. It's time to come up here. Have a nice long run. You won't wear any glasses. Nice. So, good night to Sean Brown. May God bless you. Yes, continue from there, baby. It's okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Glasses. Yeah. So sad. I'm looking like you now. <laughs> how, how, how what? So sad. I'm looking like you now with the glasses. Sad. I'm looking like me. <laughs> the, the, the boys, the boys yeah. stealing everybody good looks, boy, and putting it on his own face. Yeah. Let uh, me see the girls now. I want to see. Cool. She wanna see Babies. Anna. She wanna see Anna and um Haley can't Mommy. come right now. Anna, let me let me call Anna again, but Haley can't come right now. Anna. Yes, no, she no. Huh? She she can't she can't come right now. Eh? She can't come right now. She was in. She's sleeping. Yeah, something. Well look, Anna. I see that. Anna. 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 Eating up cookie. Anna. Mm. Right, you can see how yeah. you know. What you eating? Oh, man, looking like she was the climbing the screen, boys. Anna, where are you leaving? Anna? Where are you leaving? Go on. Oh, man. No, no, no. Wait. No. no. Uh, oh, man, try to climb in the camera. No, 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 no,
<laughs> to look to see if you can see Healy, but what happened is that the, the comments coming up. Yeah. And oh, I'm looking at her. Yeah, so she, she, she tried to look behind. Yeah, tell, her, tell her afterwards we could always make a WhatsApp call with her because it might be difficult to. Yes. Start to see and converse with us, you know? Yes, man. Well, I'm going to swallow it so for you, right? right? Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, okay. man. We're like, oh, you're going? All right, darling. Are you eating a cookie? Oh. Oh, boy, good old soul. Good old yes, soul. Yes, 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 yes. Can I take it? Hmm. No, thank you. That's good one. Let's do it. That's good one. Okay. Yeah, boy. And help. boy, you know, it, you can't help but feel sad. You know, when you start to see people what? like a lot of people. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's good. Me. But I, I'll meet you to see real good for the next couple of days. She here. Yeah, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, you have two now. For sure. You have two now. For sure, for sure. <laughs> and I have the thing. Yeah, no tuna. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. So let me see if we see any new names inside of here to heal out. All right. Hey, look, we have Sharon Omar in the chat. So good night and I see you Lee Lee Andra. Good night to you. Well, what right. to do? Big up, big up to Bushman again. Thank you for being here in the chat, Bushman. my brother. Bushman. Always so nice to see <laughs> other YouTubers coming on and engaging. You know, because watch me. All your favorite people inside are here, and again an opportunity to, to talk with you tonight. Yes. Nice, and we go in. Anna Maria, <laughs> Miss Women over love Linda yeah. and his family. Yes, so true. <laughs> and Ryan, yes, boy, I give you one spoil coconut water to drink, boy. What? <laughs> oh, I, I buy that coconut, I buy that yesterday. I spoil fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah, but um, they say when you put coconut water in the fridge, you should leave it slightly uncovered. Okay, Just rest the coconut of it, but I really forget to do that, boy. That's true. That never happened to me. And I always buy in the big box, the two liters. And yeah. I like four days. Yeah, and watch me. I wouldn't like it's a real nice coconut I get from Blacks. Yeah? So it had nothing to do with, with um, yes. like, it's bad coconut. The coconut sauce real best. I drink water from it yesterday. I have more water. Yes. I want to. And we go in. So watch me. 240 what? people in the house. Thank you so, so much for coming up and supporting. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Sana, you never had bread. Hi, Rose. How you doing? You must have your mother's milk still on your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. Now, nah, but you look so improved in the, I would say, the last couple of months. Huh? Eh? Huh? You look so improved in the last couple of months. Yes, boy. Fill yourself with goodness and I will happen. Now, I want to answer a question that a young man asked me in the first live that I was doing. All right? So, I don't know if he's still here. All right? Because I will only answer this question if he's still here. Right? And I'm talking about Trudy Youth. Ask a really, really good question. I hope that I'm the proper frame of mind to deliver the answer properly. The question that he asked me is, Mr. Sana, how do you always maintain such a positive attitude? <clears throat> yes, that's a very good question, but it's also a very difficult question to answer. How you just stay positive all the time, Linda? What do you just do? Or are you always? I positive? thought you were going to answer the question, so I I, I listening out for some tips. No, no, no. Well, I, I just number one, I want to find out if he's still here. Number two, I really in formulate the answer properly as yet, you know. So let me discuss it a little bit. Okay. So, if you're feeling down and out, right? And, you know, you want to get back charged, you want to pull yourself quickly out of that little desperate moment where you feel you might be slipping into a little depression or some kind of thing. What do you do mm. to, to not mm. slip back into mm. any sort of kind of depressing going thing? Mm. Okay, so so I'll give you a, I'll give you an example, and it, it it's probably a real Daddy. trivial scenario, right? Mm -hmm. But is is a recent Daddy. one, yeah. 
I, I just now I still had the water in my mouth. Oh, oh, and that's what you were doing. Very I, good. I would see him. I had the water staying in. Yes, there. I see him out all popped up and puffed up with water. I'm going to tell you. Believe in your values. Believe in your values. Walk it, Chip. That's what we do in the newspaper. You believe in what you do. Just you can get your values of it, but you must be the values on top of Mm, Daddy had a real good contribution there, boy. He said, believe in your values. Right? Believe in your values. Right? And keep projecting them. Right? So, you're on a mission. You know where you're supposed to be at. Right? And even if things happen to come up in your way, you're not letting it stop you. You're going to jump over life hurdles because you know where you want to be. And nothing is stopping you. Right? So believe in your values. Right? And project. How are you it? And keep projecting them. All right? So you're setting your goals, people, and nothing ain't keeping your back. All right? Yes. So that is one good thing. No, you're going to give me an example in that. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I guess I should start by saying that I don't really know if I would consider myself a, a positive person. <laughs> so I, I think it's, it's like about doing, doing what I have to do, doing what uh, I like to do when I could. And then as daddy was saying, you know, believing in your values, so to say. So, all right. So the thing that I try to, to prioritize is immediate family. I explained this already. Parents. And like my my wife's parents. Who I only have mama life now. So, so you, have a, you have a sense of your your value system and what's important to you and you do it, right? So the, a, real, a real trivial example that I was going to share with you is recently if, mommy was talking about vacations earlier and I it was always a, a childhood desire of mine that one of the parks we visit be a water park a real good water park. Like we have a real Harry's, I think Harry's is a real good water park we visit Harry's Water Park recently. Ever since I was a child traveling to the States here, hey, I wanted to visit and see the type of water parks they have. And the opportunity presented itself that we could visit our water park, right? So we go to the water park, but I am not visiting this water park now as a teenager. I'm visiting the water park as a family man with two children and a wife and my movements. I use the word restricted. It restricted when you compare to like your visitors as a teenager, right? So we move around the park enjoying the little water slides that Anna and Haley could enjoy. And then at one point it's like, okay, I, I, I want to maybe run away a little bit and, and try some of the grown-up slides. But I don't want to do it alone, right? Because the, the value system is I here to enjoy this with my family. So I was like, well, all right, cool. Let me... Haley, you come with me because Kim not really into like water slides and them type of things, right? So we go to our water slide and the We're very, the very, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the very first one that we go on is one that she qualifies for in height, 48 inches. We wait in line because you're waiting in line so every day. And when we get to the top and she sees the slide, no go. <laughs> no go. Mm -hmm. And walking down in walking down the from the slide, walk, walking past everybody in the line that we were just in. It had a little moment where I slipped into 
a mode if you want to call it that because it's like now let me call it let me call it yes years of disappointment so this is right so you know I, I felt myself slipping into a mood it's like hey this is a childhood dream that i wanted to express for so long i finally gained the opportunity to do it i have a chance but walking on the stairs well i'm maybe closer to the bottom i was like oh wait you know i i here to enjoy this with my family so as daddy was saying this now you just have to quickly kind of remind yourself of this is my value system this is what I stand for. This is who I here to enjoy it with. And just kind of quickly realign. But in the same breath, I, I don't know how to describe this properly, but in the same breath, I kind of allow myself to quickly soak in the disappointment. Not, not dismiss it. I soak it in. And then realign myself and say, hey, no boy, this is not a teenager. That, that opportunity, that opp not that it's gone or I miss it or it will never come back. But now is not the time for that. The value system is the children. So, so yeah, I guess what Adi was saying there it was kind of going through that moment of reminding myself and not staying in the mood long enough so that it become a burden on my wife who there and treating the children as best as she could. And then enough for the children to feel like, yeah, boy, that is a real kill, Joy, but you didn't get to go on our slide, boy. <laughs> Did you so, get to go on any slide? So I know it's a trivial. And, and later on. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was the name of the ride. Humonga Humong Kawabonga is the name of the ride. <laughs> but, oh, but that, like a big slide or something? That's a big slide or is a five-story drop, maybe at a, a 65 to 70 degree angle. Right. You're going on a yeah, tube, right? Yeah, yeah, You're on a tube, not on your back. You right, are okay. Sorry, that door. It's yeah. Like and then, yeah, is, is I enclosed, I enclosed slide. So when Haley see, Haley was like, Haley's like, daddy, me and going in that to the... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but, but, um, you know, I listen, I listen to, um, to the the example that that you now describe, right? And yeah, you was able to you was able to pull yourself outside. I mean, you, you couldn't help it. You went into a little something, a little, a little negative stepping, but you was able to to face it and stay yourself outside, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. And and what, what we quickly realize in here, like even a lot of the parts we sorry have have been to now in this time frame here, a lot of um thunderstorms and lightning storms. So mm -hmm. so rides being closed off and yeah, yeah, we could spend an hour and a half, maybe just being dark and gloomy about it. But it it's like that become part of the adventure instead. Yes. Mm, Manta was so good, but no. Manta is a a roller coaster way in a flying position. You're like upside down, looking down. Yeah, it's awesome. You love it. You love it. Yeah. Um, that's, in nice. that's in Bush Gardens. That's in a Sea World. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so like Manta, she, right? She like that. The one I. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> she didn't go. Uh, <laughs> oh. She went. What, she went and called the scorpion. What, what, did, what did it say? Feel the sting of the scorpion. Yeah. Oh god! Oh yeah, but but quick quick tip for anybody. I forgot to say the whole time. It's like today you are going to experience the sting of the scorpion. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so like have the but yeah, what, what we did, it worked out well, boy, because going to those parks now, as mommy was saying, really expensive, right? But around, yeah. Ju around July 4th, 4th of July, there was a, a online sale. I know you want to catch up on your comments, so I'll say this quickly. No, no, no. There, there was a, a online yes. sale on uh -huh. July 4th, and what we were able to do is get like um, Bush Gardens. Each person pay 100 US to go to two parks. Bush Gardens. Yes. Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. And the regular price of that might be about 100. I'm not too sure about 150 US per park. About one. Right. So because of the sale, it make it possible for us to visit those two um two parks now. Because we yes. were originally just gonna go yeah. one. 
Yeah. And then it was Delta goes to two. Right. Yeah. Also, so Trini, you'd say he means a man to add sea world. Boy, that. I, awesome. You know, I love it. I challenge myself and do some, but that one terrifies my boy. So that one really. Yeah. Sana, next time you buy coconut water in a bottle, carry your own bottle. This is from Judy. Maybe his bottles weren't sanitized. Could be the no. buy coconut water too. All right. Sour. <coughs> so, let me tell you. My yeah. girl point out oh, what yeah. is really good, right? Uh -huh. The man set up was real clean. It was new bottles. But when I went oh. by Natasha and Panta, they leave it in the car. The car. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. And yesterday was extremely hot. And Natasha really told me, she said, hey, you should take all the coconut water, you know. But yeah. you know me. I said, no, man, not good, not good, not good. I ain't here for long. I ain't here for long. And I ain't here for the whole, whole day. Yeah. Yes. Hey, yes. Um, Trini, you the cracking, all right? The cracking about four times. I do it three or two. Yeah. I think I did it twice. Yeah, cracking was, so was good. I don't like roller coasters and those type of rides, but I decided to kind of challenge myself this time. And yeah, I'm happy at it. Kumba. Kumba was yeah, baby. very. She made some right. Oh. Doritos. Yeah. But talking about positivity, what was your strategy for that? But Sana, I mean, like, kind of. If I could add one more thing, right? I I think I think I experienced a um I don't know what's the right word for it, but when Mr. Abad passed away, it, it had a period of months there where particularly he passed away in, in June. And for some reason it kind of it, it started to seriously soak in around November or December. And I mm. think when I was editing videos with him, it would really soak in, right? And in, in that moment, like, as strange as it might sound, but positivity for me, or, or kind of just walking back into a proper frame of mind. I mean, not that grief is a bad frame of mind. I want to be careful about how I would in this. But it was kind of just letting go video editing and just letting go YouTube for a little while. And, you know, all right, I, I enjoy doing this. So I guess for me too, it's like knowing, letting go something at a particular point in time. You know, if, if in the interest, well, I mean, by letting it go, I think it, I don't, I don't know if they describe it as staying positive, but I think it helped me reach a place where I'm in a better frame of mind to, to, to maybe be positive. And it's one of the questions that, that coming up for some reason, it coming up a little bit more often now, like in terms of, you know, like, hey, maybe it's just time to, to let go YouTube completely. I can't tell you what's my reasoning behind it, but if it's one of the things that I need to do in the... I don't feel like it is take away from my family in a, a big way. Kim might be able to better tell you that. No. I don't um, know. But yeah, like, knowing, knowing what to, to let go, it might be something important there, but just knowing what to let go. This kind of helped me function too. So I, I hope them is helpful comments and not negative comments. <laughs> uh, why this like right. for you though? Well, thanks for sharing. Yes. Thanks for sharing. So, this is my take on it. So, people, I won't lie, it will be impossible for us to go back to all of these comments. All right? So, good night to K. All right? Good night to K. FPL is still in the house. All right? Um, I saw somebody from Guyana. <laughs> right? Hey, Roslyn, my cousin, how are you? Nice. Good. And Latrice. Okay, right. So big up to Rihanna. All right. Sis Narain, watching from Guyana. All right. So welcome, my dear. All right. So tribute. This is especially for you. All right. How do I remain? How do I remain positive? All the time, or at least appear to be positive. All right. So every morning when I wake up, 
right? I wake up like about half past four in the morning, right? I will spend a little time. Thank you. Right? Okay. I will do a little reflecting. So, Sana, I don't know if it's just me, but your, your voice get echoey all of a sudden. I don't know if it's just me. The commenters could let us know. For real? Yeah. So let it's me like one is a keep speaker. talking. Do like a testing, testing. Yes, testing, testing. Better. Better, Better. Yeah. Better. yeah? All right. Yeah. So, good. so I wake up in the morning. I lie down. I do a lot of reflecting. I ain't pray as yet. I ain't pray as yet. I just, you know, kind of go through what yesterday was like. You know, what kind of free my mind am I in, right? And then I will say my prayers, right? So always pray to your higher power, all right? And thank him, thank him for life, right? And, you know, that you're living to see yet another new day, right? Always give thanks and praise for all the things that you have, yes. Yes. right? Your home, your car. Your family, your property, okay. everything, right? And most importantly, that breath yeah. of life that is in you, right? So after that, I will come outside to make a cup of coffee and I will put on my favorite music, right? I particularly love this song, right? By, uh, I don't know if it's Tasha Coombs, it's the girl's name, right? But I love you, Lord, right? That is one of my favorite songs. I've listened to We Mika, right? Um, and then I am ready to go live. All right? I will always give my girl Amy a little video call because I always love to drink my coffee in the company of somebody, right? So Amy and I, we just have a little cup of coffee together, right? And bam, we start with the live. Right now, when I go live, right, I always try to maintain a really, really good smile, right? Because remember, my my objective is to fill people with positivity, right, and to deliver it in a way to charge people up, right? So, reading the comments that come in now is positivity coming into me. Right? And in so doing, all this positivity that's coming into me, I am now pouring it back to everybody. All right? So, there we go. By the time I'm finished the life, I am fully charged, I am energized, and are ready to go through the day positive. All right? I always say at the end of my life, all right, don't let nobody steal your joy. Right? Don't lose your mind. You only have one, right? So nobody is going to invade my head to take away what I have been working so hard on, which is positivity, right? The more positive you become is the more negativity stays away from you, all right? Negative people can't come around positive people. They will just be blown away like a fly, all right? So now I'm going through my day, all right? Sometimes a thought might come into my head. I say, all right, well, let me deal with this. And if it's something that I have control over, I will reflect on it, reflect on it, and say, all right, good. You know, yesterday, I really reacted badly to the situation. Today, I will mean, try to better that. Right? Good. So those are thoughts that you could deal with. Those are things that you can change, right? But if a thought comes into my head, all right? Let's say somebody's giving me a really, really hard time and I think about the situation and it's not something that I can change, right? Because the person has a particular mindset about me, right? That is a situation that you cannot change, right? And I always tell people, you cannot go through those kind of thoughts. You will get lost, right? You will get lost. So you look at it from on the outside and you say, you know something, boy? I wish that this situation could have been different, but it's out of my hands. 
and let me leave it in God's hands. Right? So you take a little peep at it, but you're not going to try to dissect it, looking for answers. Hey, I wonder if I do this, if it'll bring about this reaction and the person. No, no, no. Don't waste your time on that. Don't waste your time on that at all. Right? So you deal with that and you move on. Right? You move on from that. And what you're doing during the day, you know, once again, you prayed in the morning, visit with your higher power again, thank him that, hey, you know, I'm going through the day, things going smooth, thank you, give me strength to deal with the next hour or so, right? You're in work, you're doing your paperwork, or you're riding your bicycle, it's a perfect time to talk to God, right? And once again, just keep going through, God is your friend. God is your friend. You could take him anywhere with you. He's all around, right? So just keep doing that. You reach to the end of the day, right? You lie down. Whatever brings you comfort, right? If you like to look at cartoons, you're looking at your cartoons, right? You're looking at your cartoons and you're enjoying it. It's doing something positive to you. If you like to look at your action movies, everybody need a little relaxed time, right? My... My content that I like to look at, I like to look at inspirational things. I like to read about different topics like narcissism, you know, about empaths, you know. So I am, I love studying human behavior, right? So fill yourself up with positivity. Wherever you is, watch, right? And don't let nobody, don't let anybody try to control you. Right? Yeah. Somebody could guide you. Right? Somebody could guide you, but nobody to control you. Right? A parent shouldn't be even doing that with a child. I said earlier on in our life last week, right? That you are here to guide your children. Nobody is here to make their daughter or their son into them. Right? Your, your children have their own minds right and you are just there to guide them no mother supposed to be trying to make their daughter like them or a father trying to make his son like him no he is his own individual person you just there to guide and like a friend right? so i hope that i answer your question to some extent yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. thinking positive and good things could have come to you and you will find on a daily basis, right? You're going to just keep getting better and better at it. All right? And when you feel down, remember those words that are on this jersey. Never give up. Right? Yeah. So, yes. A, a, a happy for, for where you started in terms of like rising early and, you know, you're, you're, you're maybe thinking about certain things and then your thoughts turn to your creator, the God of your understanding, right? Yeah. And that that is something that I have been trying to do a lot more mm -hmm. now than I did in my teenage years or 20s or 30s. Because one of the, one of the things that you will, I mean, I, I'm not here to preach or anything. I just be talking about something from a personal point of view, so I share in my experience, right? Right. One of the things I'm beginning to appreciate more and more is peace and joy is ready from God and things have a way of when you're just really committed to his hands that it that it works out another thing you were talking about in terms of like your interactions with people and things that you know you can't you can't change you might just mill it over in your mind quickly but you know you know you can't do anything about it in terms of changing right and some something that that works with for me and also against me. I, I just spend a lot of time trying to process and read between the lines when I deal with people. You know, like some somebody say something and you know you could kind of sit down and say, I wonder what they mean by when they say this boy, is it X, Y, and Z or a thousand different ways to dissect a situation? So I know it I know it's important at times. That's why I say it could work for or against me. Sometimes certain things could fly over my head when somebody's sending a message. When I just meet you, I interact with you, 
enjoy the interaction with you because I believe everybody are amazing and I move on from it. I meet you again. Even if I don't talk to you three months or six months, I, I don't try to overanalyze things. Except if I sit down to write a book and then I'm thinking about interactions and human behavior, then. Right. And to, to me, that kind of saves me. You know, why Why should I... I use the word waste. Why should I waste like 25 minutes? What she already mean when she say X, Y, and Z, boy? Versus that could be 25 <laughs> minutes that no. I do it with, you know, like somebody else. And, and who knows, maybe it even makes things like forgiveness a little bit easier. So, Kim, what you could tell us about positivity? I mean, look at our face. I know. <laughs> when you get burned, and the positive part is it wasn't raining. <laughs> Give the sun to your part, give oh, yesterday. Every, those, all those children, too. And we were wearing sunblock, eh? and I reapplied sunblock. No, I think positivity is a, a oh. state of mind. No, you have, to, you have to choose to be positive because anybody, you could choose what you want to do. You could see a situation, you could go to a park, and they could say, All rides are closed because of inclement weather until further notice and you could say oh gosh well we waste your time blah 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 or you could go around and do the things that you probably wouldn't have done if the rides were working and then when the rides start back you realize half the people went home so now you have a shorter line and you have to see the positive in it because you could no. choose to be negative or you could choose to be positive and it's about your mental and what you're capable of and if you choose to be positive i think you'll have a happier life if you choose to be negative <laughs> You're just going to be stressing yourself out. So it's up to you where, where you really want out of life. What do you want out of life? I agree, I agree with everything she said. <laughs> Smart. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, yes. Thanks for your contribution there, Kim. Sure. Well said. Yes. You have to choose to be positive. But I know that Sarah, it have 208 people in the chat. <laughs> And you probably want to catch up on some of them comments. So let me go yes, back to... Yes, Okay, no, so generally, you know, people... Um, <laughs> one person say, you know, that it's so good to see that, you know, they're witnessing my healing, you know, and, you know, thanking God for the channel, you know. Um, yes, people, d listen, eh? That didn't come real fine, eh? Yeah, boy, I come from real, real far. Real, real far. Real, real far. And if the fact is you're doing this for everybody to see. You're doing it yes. on stage. And yes. It, it's amazing. Kudos to you. I couldn't do it. Yes. <laughs> I would just... I, I can see the eyes on me like that. Kim, watch her, Gil. I, <laughs> when, when I am... Um, when I was in St. Anne's, Right? I kept saying to myself, well, you know, back then in this situation, I was like, Lord, why is this why is this happening to me, boy? Hmm. You know, why is this why are you putting me through yet another horrible ordeal. like experience ordeal? That is what I was looking for, you know. <laughs> why am I going through this this ordeal again? You know, you know me for years, Kim. Okay. If I get, I, I get burned up in, in a fire, I gain some kind Ocean. of accident, some, some kind of thing. It always <laughs> some kind of thing, right? So, Gil, I don't see that and I see, Lord, why is this happening to me? And somewhere in the middle of the St. Dan's experience, um, so like two weeks after being in St. Dan's, I started to look at this thing. So listen to this one, good um tribute. I say, Lasana, let me tell you something. You go in and take this experience and you go in and make it into something positive. Right? Hmm. I know that when I come out of St. Dance, I would have to face the pressures of society. Yeah. Where, you know, people gonna be pointing, hey, look at Maybe my man going here, right? Yeah. You know how they stigmatize it. And 
you walk into a room, everybody just get quiet. Because <laughs> you know they I were just talking about you. <laughs> I know exactly. So yeah. I knew what I had to face. I was prepared to face it. And I was prepared and I was determined that I'm going to show people that, hey, I am going to get better one day and I am going to be even better than who I was before. Right? Mm -hmm. Because I had already hit rock bottom. I couldn't go any lower than that. Right? And thank the Lord, I came out of St. Anne's. Right? Well, it has been it has been a road, right? And that's a back more, road. <laughs> yeah, more, <laughs> yes, more um, more struggles I was faced with again, right? Things that could have definitely put me straight back into what we call the madhouse, mm -hmm. right? But I told me I was praying to God, Lord, please take control, lead, and I will follow. Right? I will follow. Yes, it was just a mental breakdown, Trini Youth. Right? And I am so glad, glad that I never lost my mind again. And that's why I keep preaching it to people. Don't lose your mind. You only have one. Right? You need to bad inside of here with everything that you have. Yes? Yes, open any so, People, I am so happy that today, for let it see a living testimony in front of all you, right? That it's impossible after a mental break that you could have a full recovery. People, I stopped taking the medication from St. Anne's about a year and three months now. I don't take no panel, I don't take no mood stabilizers or anything like that right and thank the lord look at where i am today okay. yes look at where i am blessed and happy to god. thanks to god thanks to this community thank mm -hmm. you dear father so so much All right? if anybody's new to this channel right you can go right back from the beginning and, and see the journey the journey <laughs> yeah. of, this, of this channel right I I was not afraid when I want to cry, I'm crying on, on, on the videos, right? If I laugh, then I'm laughing. If I vex, I vex, right? So we see it, people, get vex. Yes. I, know, I also showed people, Kim, right? You know, I always outside listening to the birds, mm -hmm. outside the night looking at the stars, right? Um, so yeah, fire. You will get to see. How I used to, what I used to feed myself, all right? So, people, we stay in positive and we're going. Yes. Yes. Still a little mad, but he's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Like that comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you, good one, you good, one, good one, good one, good one. Yes, man. And people, that is another thing, you know, you had to be able to laugh about yeah. it, right? This man could make this true. Because he know that, hey, I could take talks, right? So, you know, if you happen to be a person, maybe he was in St. Anne's already, and a man, <laughs> a man, a little, yeah. a man a little madman joke with you. See, yeah, boy, I, remember I have a madman people, you know, don't play the fool with me, you know. <laughs> yeah, make a little joke about it. When people see that you're not affected, you will see, just so, they're going to leave you alone. Hmm. Because... They, they realize, hey, I can't get into that man mind. Mm -hmm. yes. So big up to all the people that was in St. Dance, right? Certified graduates. <laughs> yes. Certified madman. Certified madman. Yeah, man. You, you, were, you were talking about something. Sorry, you finished reading some comments there? No, no, no. Go ahead. You were talking about, you touched on that. I know it's something you, you don't dwell on, but it reminded me. When you say, like, you know, sometimes you question things that you're going through. I am, I mm -hmm. think, kind of question, or go, you know, God, after all these things, why are you going through this particular experience again? And, and yeah. recently I was reading uh, uh, Job 38. Right? I, I yeah. think it might have been, I, I'm not sure, but I think it might have been kind of similar circumstances that I, I don't know if the question came up. Mm -hmm. 
as and the, the, I can I can ask you two things quick for you. Sure, man. What do you mean? Yeah. So th this is this I'm is preaching, I'm reading. this is <laughs> no because the response <laughs> ahead, the response video. stayed with me. You see? Yes. The, because this is like Job. God now talking to Job. Maybe if the question came up about the experience that he was going through, right? Yeah. So this this is God talking, right? I'll just read like three verses. Right? And this God is, says, this, so, this where from was Job, right? when I laid? Start over, start over, Linan, sorry. Yeah. God is telling Job, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare thou hast understanding. Who had laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who has stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations fastened? He asking the questions now. Or who laid the cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as if it had issued out of the womb? So, uh, is, is it our place to kind of really ask why? Ask why. Yeah. And I don't know, like, like, doubt the power that could guide us through these things. Right. There's, there's, I, I will share something with you. I'll share this for the first time recently. Um, mm -hmm. Whenever on a, a morning, you know, I get up and I look out those southern windows at home and you overlook the planes. You know, Carney, Piaco, all these different things. The the first thought that has come to my mind on our morning in drawing that curtain is wow, why the, the the same power that guide people over the, the Red Sea, that part the Red Sea and allow people to walk. In 2023, you have access to that. Same we have access to that. And everyone inside of the chat, all your viewers, community, have access to it. And our old, our old fellow we, we met recently, um, he, say, he talk about prayer. And he yes. Say, he said we would, we would be foolish not to use something like that. We have access to it. And it costed you nothing. Water does cost you something today. Yeah. So we have we have access to tools, each of us, and you know, just uh, apply ourselves to it, and you can really yeah. come out of some dark experiences. Hmm. Yeah, boy. I so, mean, at some point, I will feel. That's a really good I topic, have... <laughs> right? Yeah. At some point, I will feel Kim, or I might feel like she feel me in a situation, and I might feel like I feel how our sister feel. Like we as brothers might feel each other. But we have, you know. But that is, that is one consistent. Human. That is one consistent. <laughs> you know, for one that you can you can access freely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess all that ties into positivity. Of course, yes. I mean, look at this face. You know, positive eyes. You looking at our face? Yeah, man. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful Kimberly. Boy. Yes. Is peace. Oh. They say going yes. on vacation for mothers is just taking care of everybody in a different location. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and you see, that's the, that's the kind of talk that is really upset me. <laughs> yes. And um, I just, I just, I just want to see something quick here, right? So, yeah. Anne Marie, Anne Marie B, right? Hear what Anne Marie B is saying, right? I can't believe that some of you think it's funny to make jokes about someone's mental health. Be better. And I appreciate that very much, Anne-Marie, but my, the, the, the community inside of here, right? We all, we all, everybody know it's okay inside of here, right? To make these jokes with me because they know that I don't take any offense, right? And what we are actually trying to do here, people, is show people Listen, if it is that you people are in the habit of making jokes with mental people and usually they get very, very offended, right? I am showing people that, hey, listen, don't let that get to you. So, Anne-Marie, thank you very, very much. But 
these people know that I am not taking any offense, and we just we just go in. Oh, yes. And I don't think they mean any offense. And, yes. and, and you probably need a little disclaimer, yeah. there, Sana, that you certainly wouldn't endorse walking up to to everyone, yes. to other patients, and say, "Hey, right. you're mad. No, you, you're yes. not subscribing to that." Yes, thanks but for saying are, that. You in this space, you comfortable with it, and you have expressed yeah. that right. you're comfortable with it. Yes. So what I am hoping for is that if by chance there is somebody inside of here that would have been in St. Dance, you have to move to take me your skin, right? You have to take me your skin that a hey, a man might end up with a madman or loose screws or, 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 or you're missing nuts and bolts in your head, right? You had to learn to turn it into a joke and yeah, boy, good one, good one there. You know, and learn to laugh it off. You can't help it. People will make remarks like that sometimes. Right? So I am teaching you all how to be um how to take me your skin. Right? You had to learn to take me your skin. Otherwise, people will recognize that A. Hey, are getting to him when I call him that, right? So they will just keep, you know, they will keep coming at you. So I'm showing you how to yeah. this now, them kind of things, right? So, Anne Marie, but thanks, nevertheless. Yes, definitely, we had to be sensitive to other people who come out as saying that because they may not have reached the place that I reached to as yet where. I could take these jokes openly. All right? So, we go in, 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 we go in. Yeah. We go and in. Two, two things, Lasana, I would add to that. Mm -hmm. what, one is about maybe general society in Trinidad. Yeah. General society in Trinidad, not forgiven to... Not everyone is compassionate or empathetic towards somebody's scenario. So, you might see someone who you know has a history of mental illness and, you know, Person A might respect the boundaries, but B, C, and D will casually joke about it like it's nothing and it's, it's fine. You should be able to take a little joke, man. All of you, you just went sit down, you could take a joke. That's, that's the first thing. The yeah. second thing is, in your hmm. journey, which is documented on, on video, I think in your early videos, I remember you saying to me, Lyndon, I, I feel like my sense of humor coming back. And it was yeah. around that time it was around that time where you started kind of making jokes about it and being open in your lives and your videos. I don't know if you can remember that. Yeah, but I you, can you exactly express that. that one. Huh? And Anup and Kavita, uh -huh. right? They came up by us, right? Um, Susie was also up there that day, right? And when Anup was leaving, Anup started to give her a whole set of jokes. Right, and I tell him that I, I say, boy, you remind me so much of you know who I used to be. I was always the man giving all the jokes and how people cracking up their belly, hurting them and all kind of thing. And that man, that man, hey, I tell you, boy, you see on this life's journey, boy, boy, I thank the Lord for always sending somebody to lift me up in a in a different area. Right, he sent Anup to raise back up the, the humor in me to awaken the humor. He sent Lydia, Lasana, pull yourself together. You need to keep yourself shave up nice. Right? You come, you take me, you carry me. Sana take a train boy. Right? This other one calling, offering spiritual advice. Right? Who teaching about um big up to my girl star goddess? Yes, big up to Star Goddess. She was like a pillar, a strength to me, right? Star Goddess, big up yourself, right? I have been meeting so many great people along life's journey, right? The generosity from Susie and Allison, right? The great company of um, Natasha and Panta, the wonderful Singh family that's so humble down in Coromandel. Stefan, his father Steve, his mom, 
right? So many great people that I'm meeting, and it's like every time I meet somebody new, right? It's like it's like different, or it's like different spirits, boy. Yeah, the spirit, the spirit of laughter, the spirit of generosity, the spirit of kindness, the spirit of balance. You know, and boy, big up to all the people. Yeah, big up to all the people. Yes. God is speak to us through people sometimes. You just have to open your ears and hear. Once somebody positive talking to you, take it that is God speaking to you through that person. That it works like that. All right. So people might say that, boy, I wish I could have heard the voice of God. You're hearing it every day, people. When somebody positive come up to you, that is God speaking to you through that person. Yeah. And and this this is this is not to discount what I think is Judy and Anne Marie saying and the sentiments that they're sharing. This 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 comment that I'm about to make is not to take away from what you all say. The mm -hmm. the the beauty of life and by extension YouTube channels and building a community is that when you build a community, like in your case here, and you dealing with it a very particular way. That the, the, the people who see it that way endorse it and support it. Th this is their space. This is this is how they're comfortable dealing with issues. But if it rubs you the wrong way, the beauty is that they have other communities who will be dealing with it the way you think it should be dealt with. And how it should be addressed, and is no laughing matter, and it's probably something a little bit more serious and yeah, this, this person is speaking about it in a certain tone. And there's a space for you there. So that's not the, in no way to chase the community and say, go somewhere else. I'm not saying that. But mm -hmm. people deal with things differently, just as we look differently. So, I mean, that's how I interpret it. And if yeah. I, even as your brother, I may not necessarily share all the sentiments that you have or your approaches, but I long for the right because of certain aspects of it. Yes. You know, so yes. It's a, it's a, there's a space for, for everybody. Yes. And Lyndon, well said. Thank you so much. And people, if there's one thing about me, right, is that I respect everybody value system. All right. I do respect it very, very much. So people, you know, if there are some people in here that may think differently, remember. I can I could control what I am saying. I am in charge of me. All right. There is the chat going on on the side. All right. And unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to get in. So I can't be managing my thoughts and also try to manage what may be going on on the side here. All right. I am not so talented. Right. So we have the moderators there. And they will take control of the situation. And I just want to say, right? Let me just forget whatever it is might be going on in the back there. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing bad going on. It's well, nothing bad going on. I, honest to God, I don't know. Because I really can't go back through all of that chat. But let me just move on from that now, people. Yeah? Let me move <laughs> on from that now. Yeah, I want to keep, I want to keep, I want to keep good vibes going. <laughs> All right, uh, I want to keep good vibes going in here. We are 232 people in here, and watch me. Let me go on with it. All right, yes, man. Yep. So they wanted to hear a song earlier on, right? I wanted to hear a song. I wonder, I wonder, um, I wonder what what song my boy want to hear. Oh, Ryan was asking for a song. Well, I certainly wouldn't be able to help you. Yeah, I find I find that Kimberly can come back and say, "Man, no, she was in the <laughs> She went yes. and put the girls to sleep there. Yes, what's it? What's it there now? I won't lie. Is um, is nine fifty. Watch now. I won't lie. Eh? You see that day that um, Anupandi came up. Daman ignited. Look, Glenn, see the time is nine fifty two. 
Thanks, Glenn. Yeah. Um, that man ignited. He was delivering the jokes on him so good. Sing the one, I love you, Lord. For your mercies never fail me. Dun, dun, dun. I just listened everyone, but I know the words. Eh? Yes. I love you as a father. I love you as a friend. I can see for the goodness of God. Hey. Because all my life you have been faithful. Oh, yes, you have. You didn't know that song, but that's the way I sing it. That's the way you sing it. That's the way I sing it. The words so good, good, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, people, we having a good, nice Sunday evening chat, all right? Filling our minds with goodness. We are about to face a new week, and people, with God's help, we going and sail through this week once again, right? So we're gonna be looking forward to meet up in the morning at God's Fair Life and we're coming out with the same positive vibes. Hey, I have something amazing to tell all you. Amazing. I'm let me hear you guys. All you ready for it? So guys, yeah. let me hear it. All you ready for it? So guys. I was outside here this morning, half mm -hmm. past seven, having some coffee. All right? I was talking to my good friend, Alice. And, Lyndon, I was right here in Cali. I ain't lying out of nowhere. A hummingbird came and was hovering right in the middle area of the lawn. Right? So the hummingbird was probably like about 10 feet. Right? away from me and the hummingbird came in a look closer. Do you know what type of hummingbird it was? A green and white one. Oh nice. A ruby topaz. And that's your favorite one? It is always said that's your favorite one? Yes. A ruby topaz is a hummingbird that people that always go by all these people that have hummingbird feeders, they go there with the intention and the hope that they will see a ruby topaz. And nine out of ten times, they don't see it. And here in Trincity, a ruby topaz came six feet away from me. And you know how those hummingbirds, when they come up by us, they just hover and they just look you straight in the eye? Boy, that hummingbird that hummingbird remained there hovering for like about three, four seconds. Look me in the eye and then just dart away. Boy, I can't tell you how ecstatic I felt. So tomorrow, please God, I was going to buy one, right? But I was talking to the neighbor in the back and she said, all right, hey, listen, I have some hummingbird feeders. I have some extra ones. I will give you one tomorrow, please God. Yes. Boy, boy that was so awesome, boy. That was like, gosh, I feel like if God visit me, hmm. yes, I feel like God visit me, boy. And see, Lassana, look something, look some eye candy for you this morning. Hmm. I was telling Alice, I see, Alice, this is so unbelievable. Yes. Boy, you always express how, how much you love that mood. Yes, boy. And of all birds to see, boy, a ruby topaz, boy. Hi, Steve, I, I am doing well. Sorry, that's a bit somebody, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Hercules say, I feel it come all the way from Cora. Must be, boy, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Were you, were you able to hold it? No, boy. No, I didn't come from no. Cora. <laughs> no. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Stephen in the house saying, um, hello. Hey, Stephon, what's up, what's up? Oh, sorry, I pronounced him wrong. Sorry about us. Yeah, man. I talked to him today. I have video call him. Give me a second. I'll come back to join him. Yeah. Oh, gosh, Dolly, I like my channel. 
<laughs> Matt, you sound like me when I see a hummingbird here in New York. Yeah, boy, Matt, boy. Boy, that thing was so God sent. So, people, I want to big up my moderators who they be keeping everything in our check. Thank you so much. Anna, I send in love to you, my dear. All right. Nice. Let me see. Hey, Richie Six in the house. What do you say, my brother? Yes, man. Hey, hey. yeah, it is full, full swing. All right. I see we still have Lydia in the house. Angela, Bella Raspberry, Food and Lifestyle. Good night, Mr. Sana and Linda and Kim. Lovely night to all. So, yes, Bella. Thanks for being here. All right. Bam, bam, bam. That's how it's going to be carried today. Yes, indeed. I will try to learn the words and sing it. All right. Nice. Kenny Rogers, boy. We got to get Kim to sing that job. Baby. Yes. Nice. And we go in. We go in. All right. I said I love to Anne-Marie. Right. Um, Chandruti. Chandruti Singh. Sana continues to trust in the Lord. He's the only one you can lean on. Thank you for that. Angela, mom and dad, they are well. Yes, Kimmy Wilson, I love the fact that you can address and share your experiences with mental health. I bet it may have someone who's on this live at the moment who may be struggling with mental health, depression, and anxiety. And definitely, Kimmy, you are so correct. They will be, right? So everybody in the house, 230 people, 94 likes. Thank you so much for coming and spending this Sunday afternoon with us. We really, really do appreciate it a lot. All right, big up to my boy, Glenn Bursing. All right, nice. Going back in the chat here a bit. Deborah, so nice to still have you in the house. And Marie B, I love it too bad. All right, Glenn, all of this requires a support system. Part of your healing was building this support system through our YouTube channel indirectly. Everybody heals differently. Yes, Glenn, this is what is working for me. All right, I remember when I started, um, I was going through some extreme problems and I decided that I will come off of YouTube for a week and thank the Lord for Lydia, Lasana, you need to get back on track. You need to start and make your videos. I am seeing how happy it is making you. Boy, do something for yourself. Love yourself. All right? Get back on track. Make your videos. And thank you so much for that, Lydia. Look at where the channel is today, people. All right? The encouragement of one individual that, hey, Lasana, do not give up. Pull yourself together. Right? Do what you have to do. She said something very important to me too. She said, if everybody was supposed to take their problems out of their pocket and throw it on our table, and I believe Anu told me this too, everybody throw their problems on the table, so now you have an opportunity to see what Tom threw, what Jim threw, and that kind of thing. And you're peeping on the table. And you see the kind of problems that other people have. You will take up your problem and put it back in your pocket. And you will get out of there as soon as you could. Right? So always remember that when you think you have it hard. And yes, everybody's problem is unique to them. Right? But when you see other people. You're echoing again, Sana. You're echoing again. Yes. Yeah, man. Why is you sleeping? Oh, I'm falling now. Right, mommy said I want to hear for you, Linda. <laughs> All right, thanks. Your yeah, yeah, audio yeah. echoing again, Sana. I'm one for Kim. It's still going? It, it just started. All right, but and how are you going now? Right, better, yeah. I don't know if it's like, yeah, better. Yes. Uh, a special good night to, to Carmen Ramki soon, and I see Kim King Vivek in the chat. So, hello to you all. And something else you, you, you haven't touched on here, Lasana. Uh -huh. you, you know, like your community is not necessarily alone for the the person who may be in the, the similar circumstances like you, but right. going through the experiences you've gone through, but the, the people who interact with them. So, say, for example, you know. You you telling a story about how something, you know, you you felt about a certain interaction, or 
you talk about what he who still steals my purse steals trash. Uh-huh. What he who steals my name steals everything. And then right. see how you feel when you just come. You you came outside and you were discharged and then interacted with people and what it was like. The person who may have a brother, sister, cousin, co-worker that passed through experience like that, they may mm-hmm. now be sensitized through humor as to how to deal with it. Like, for instance, if you're doing red wall news and you're joking about certain things, politics or situations in the country, somebody right. might laugh, but then they might start to think about, hey, it had, there's a serious aspect of this too. So you might make certain considerations to the people you know and you may have been a little bit cross with, you know? Right. Who huh? kind of... I come for water. Anna, great. Hmm. Two hundred and twenty people. I mean, yes. I am. I am. I am ready. I'm here, boy. I mean, Bobby it's... said, "Don't let this man out talk you." Yeah. <laughs> he was always good at that. Yeah. Uh, I, I am amazed, and I mean, I've seen it not boastfully, but with a sense of pride at the same time. You know, like meeting and chatting with Trini's Bushman could relate to it, Trini out and about, you could relate to it. Others yeah. in the YouTube community in Trinidad, you meet somebody and they say, boy, you know, when we stick up there in the cold, it is in Canada or we in Orlando and we can't come home for whatever reason, that they, they, they're happy to connect with whom. That that leaves a real kind of lasting impression on me now. Yes, yeah, so sometimes it, it put a little gas in my tank and where I might be feeling like I could just give up on this YouTube stuff, yes. You know, it put a little gas that hey, it means something to people. Yes. So so we all mean something in very different ways to, to people and I guess it's just about walking in wisdom as much as they could. And you, you express something already, a real important part of anyone's journey is, is that aspect of kind of you know doing it with with genuine humility. Yeah. Remaining humble. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Perhaps easier said than done, but again is is one of the things that you could you could pray for. Yeah, of course. I always right? I always yeah Amy. <laughs> ask God, right i always ask god Lennon, because you know it is it's just in human nature it's just in human nature that you know you're you know starting off you're a little timid in anything that you're doing whether it's youtube or woodwork tiling work you know people like you in the beginning because you know you're so humble because Lacking confidence, lacking confidence could give, you know, like a sense of, way boy, that man real humble, right? But it could be that he really lacking confidence, right? So a man who lacking confidence, he could be kind of quiet and, you know, just kind of shaking his head. He have questions in his mind, boy, I wonder if I could do this work, boy, and People in the beginning could actually mistake that, that, hey, this man real humble, right? But as he begins to progress and his skills start to improve, right? He is now becoming confident. And with the confidence now, you know, now you start to have like a kind of proud air about you. And suddenly people will want to know, well, oh, we, we the humbleness go on, boy, we the humility, boy, this man. You ever hear people say, way, boy, when you hear people get big, is that a different story? Right. And that's because it wasn't because that there was humble from the start. There was lacking confidence. They were lacking confidence. So it wasn't that, that they're humble. There was lacking confidence, so they appear like they're humble. Mm-hmm. Because if you are a humble person, genuine humble person, 
regardless of how your okay let me use youtube all right your channel you start to improve yourself all right you're going and you're taking your trim lydia saying boy make sure and pull out all them old hair from your nose now boy shave up and things so you start to present yourself different then fans bring a little gift for you so hey people seeing that hey the man wearing a little nicer clothes now right some other nice beautiful ladies working on a glasses for me right in advance have a hand looking nice right but not because you're going and improve in terms of your clothes your hairstyle and that kind of thing right humility humility will always be outpouring from a genuine source so not because you start to wear nice clothes and thing now you start to get arrogant yes and so people listen now, man this is the greatest channel here in trinidad and one no, no 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 remember i tell you um i was watching a youtube video and the man was saying that hey you know a lot of youtubers they start off nice and humble you're meeting people outside there so you're so happy because people telling you hey you're watching their videos and you're going out of your way to respond to people comments and that kind of thing right and as your as your channel start to grow right the humbleness and humility it end up going through the door no people hearing you out gosh i got time with this man you know right and you you know you're shunning people up. the same support that you was glad for when you're catching your tail in the beginning only two people to heal yeah. out for a week right and you're uh, glad for them to heal out no you you you're coursing on people uh dolly yeah. say flip camera flip personality <laughs> flip camera flip personality yes no you had to, you have to remember you must always remember your beginning yeah but but there, there, there is something i learned about research recently, recently. Mm -hmm. and it's called it, it was on a, a podcast with a guy that from uh gosh it was sorry yeah, you know like i thought they said they had on this quickly leave you and you know this head finding it back kind of hard well i know one tell you that right it's called mm -hmm. tall poppy syndrome you know you know the, the poppy flower or whatever T -A -L -L, you, could just, you, tall, you could just repeat it from the, the start. Tall poppy syndrome. Tall poppy syndrome. Yes. I think right. the poppy will be P-O-P-P-Y, -P -P right? And, and maybe in reference to that poppy flower or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea, the tall poppy syndrome is where, as that's the quickly put ourselves in the position of our viewer, right? Yes. The, the person enjoys the journey of Okay, somebody who is, you know, growing. They grow it. They the puppy tree, they grow it. And they on the journey, maybe considered an underdog, maybe the, the lesser part of society and they they climbing. And then they, they, they reach a place now, but based on the the success that they enjoy, they become less relatable to the viewer or the yeah. artist or the, the singer, what whatever profession it might be. But you can look it up and read up on it sometime. Tall poppy syndrome. No, I will definitely uh, yeah. tonight. Tonight Where, I the... will definitely um I will definitely check that out tonight. Yeah, based Tall on pop, based on somebody's success syndrome. that you know they like, yeah, like somebody adding something there. Uh tall poppy syndrome occurs when a person's success causes them to be attacked, resented, or criticized. Cutting people down the value someone else's achievement by suggesting that they did not deserve the attention. Hmm. So, so, so you could do that one and look thanks, into it too. Thanks to the person that sent that. Yes. Yeah. And and this is this is where maybe even have like I think that comedian Ellen, she had a she had a stand up special called I think the name of it was Relatable. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of these segments, these stand up comedians might have might begin with them kind of trash talking the wealth and the success that they enjoy, you mm -hmm. know. So, right. Because they, they they want to come across as relatable as much as possible. So I uh, asked the guy about it. And you know, like in how to introduce yourself properly. Because he's he's right. a very popular podcaster. And he was talking about you know when, when you're achieving certain measures of success to 
become more relatable to people. One of the things that you do is, you know, you kind of position your story as the where you started, or maybe one of the things that you, you yeah, I was getting success, but I hated this aspect of it. Maybe mm -hmm. time or being, you know, tied to the system or whatever. So I guess it kind of always positions you in people's mind as, you know, this this guy relatable despite the success. Of course, it. I mean, I'm talking about it here, but those are not things that necessarily. Like, I, I do identify with it because I feel like I don't want to be somebody who uses a formula mm -hmm. to be relatable to people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to tell you a story and position that. Um, Hey, big up to Matimus for the, the um, what do you call it? The special thanks for the Sana there. Thanks well, so much. Thank, thank you. I appreciate yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, but it, it would, I, I mean, I will go back and read it. But for the, the viewers as well, you can look into the Tall Poppy Syndrome TPS. And thanks for the mm -hmm. comment that shared that, um, that right. information just to pull it back up. Uh, so I just want to say something quick to Hercules. All right, you keep seeing the number one, 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 one column. All right, what you could do is on YouTube, right? You could look up and um, angelic numbers. All right, for instance, if you see in nine one one, they will tend to see that this is a number that is showing you that the archangel Michael is near to you. All right, so. Angelic numbers is what you have to do research on on YouTube. All right, when you keep seeing repeated numbers, that's an indication, according to some people, that this is angelic numbers. So that's the direction that you have to carry your search, right? So please, and I hope that is of some assistance to you. All right. Yes. This morning when I saw that word. You, no matter what I keep seeing is 911 everywhere on my watch. I can't tell me many times it was 911. So, yeah, I just shed some light based on your comment. All right? And it's just still today is September 11th. Isn't that funny? Today is what? September 11th. Your time up. Your time up. <laughs> <laughs> You make me feel like I'm going back. <laughs> you know, before I, I get, before I get to the, um, the computer programming, mm -hmm. and this will be before, like, you know, with NP and the docs and them type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. I was looking at a travel agency. And this real pretty Chinese girl come in, you know, well spoken. Trinidadian speaking with a British accent. So mm -hmm. I don't tend to have any travel agency, you know. And she's going to yeah. England. And man, when I tell you, beautiful Asian girl, eh? And mm -hmm. uh, so I said, like, wait, wait, in England, you know? She said, but she's doing psychology. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So she buys her ticket and she goes her way, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, man, go looking good, man. You're looking like you're on a mango farm. Mm -hmm. So I think about it some more and I tell myself, you know, when I watch all the attributes of this student and her intellect and things, I tell myself I want to study psychology, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I go, I go, I go, no one I tell mommy that day, you know, mommy. I think I finally know what I want to study. I want to study psychology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? So your boy? So your boy? Oh, I st look, I start to echo now. Hmm. I wonder what goes in that way. No. No. I echo in like you were echoing, son. I just leave like yours here. Is it something you might have do with the phone, phone or position it on the tripod? The internet dropped. Ah, shocks. Shocks. 
Because that really is good for the viewers. It could be. It could be. What is happening? When I talk, it coming back echoing at me. So you not here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Somebody say it echoing. Well, watch me. If it continue, we definitely we go lock off there, right? What you said was the name of that? That's all. Let me get my pen. Tall poppy syndrome. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hello. Hello. I go in still end. Still end. Song in annoying. Song in annoying. TPS. TPS. Trinidad Police Service. Trinidad Police Service. Tall poppy syndrome. Poppy. Poppy. Syndrome. 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 It's still echoing. Yeah, yeah, now you see we have been here for some reason. For some reason. Check where your phone is. You might be on your microphone. Now everything, everything correct here. Well, Lynn, here what now? We own now about two hours. I lost the timer, boy. No, uh, uh, 140 minutes. 140 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm very good. Okay, good night. Right? Everybody, thank you so, so much for being here tonight with the Butties Brothers and Kimberly Bandy. All right? Thank you very much, Lillian Butties, for joining me on the live. Right? You and Kimberly. All right? And hopefully... Next week, Sunday, we will be running this live again at 7 p.m. All right? Don't forget, Monday to Friday from 6 to 7, official. And then we need the chat room open for maybe about an hour. All right? So, people, thank you so, so much. Remember when you're going to bed tonight, thank the Lord for everything that you have. Somebody said, right? In a video that I looked at, if it is, you don't thank the Lord one night for everything that you have. And you wake up in the morning and all the things that you didn't pray for or thank God for, you lost it. Yeah? You didn't thank God for your car. You wake up in the morning, your car get teeth. You didn't thank God for your house. You have to end up running out your house because it burned down. Right? So people remember to pray and thank God for everything that you have. And most importantly, right? The breath of life in you and all your family members. Right? So have a good night, everybody. All right? I'm sending lots and lots of love. Yes? Nice. See you all in the morning. If God spare life, God will it. All right? Lyndon, thank you so much. Go ahead and say something and we good to go. Have a pleasant Have a night, pleasant folks. Night, folks. Mm -hmm. And they can't hear me. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes, man. Blessings. Blessings.